Hello class, today's lesson is on ecosystems and more specifically the things that influence an ecosystem. So what do we mean about environment? The environment is made up of two factors. The first type of factor is called a biotic factor. Those are all the living things that influence an ecosystem. The prefix here bio means living. The second type of factors are the abiotic factors. Those are all the non-living things that influence an ecosystem. The prefix a means non or not. So abiotic factors are the non-living or not living things. And abiotic factors are all of the living things. One rule of thumb to determine if it's abiotic factors means that if it can reproduce, it's living, okay? All right, so let's look at the first diagram here. Here, you are going to list the biotic and the abiotic factors in this ecosystem here. This is some type of marine or water ecosystem. So I want you to look at this diagram, this picture carefully. Then I want you to make a T-chart and list as many biotic or living factors that you can and abiotic or non-living factors. So I'll give you a few minutes or a little time here to look over this picture. Okay, so let's look at the T-chart. I'm going to show you the one that I made with what I've listed as biotic and abiotic factors. And I want you to compare yours with mine. So for abiotic factors, it was the polar bear, the seal, zooplankton, phytoplankton, lobster, and fish. Zooplankton, the prefix zoo here means animal. So those are the tiny little animal species that you see in the water. Phytoplankton, the prefix phyto here means plant. So those were the plant life species in the water. For the abiotic factors, that was the sun, you saw it listed as energy. Then there's CO2 or carbon dioxide, the sea ice, the ocean water, sedimentation, the soil and rocks and things like that, the temperature of the atmosphere, O2, which is the oxygen in the atmosphere, and then the C6H12O6, which is the glucose that was created in the photosynthesis process that you saw in the water. Okay, so let's go back and look and see if we missed anything. Okay, now let's go back and look at the introductory slide. This is another type of ecosystem, and I'm going to give you a few minutes here to look over this ecosystem, make a T-chart, and then we're going to compare your list with mine. Keep looking and make your list. FYI, there are more biotic or living factors in this ecosystem than there are abiotic or not living factors. Okay, so let's look at my list and you're to compare your list with mine and see what you came up with. <clears throat> For the biotic factors, there were turtles, frogs, fish, raccoon, deer, 
a hawk or some type of bird, dragonfly, ladybugs, trees, grass, flowers, lily pads, and beetles. For the abiotic factors, there was water, sun. The log is under abiotic because once it is cut, now it's dead. It's not living anymore. The temperature, the atmosphere, and of course the oxygen. Okay, so let's look at one more ecosystem here. I want you to make another T-chart and list the biotic or the living factors and the abiotic or the non-living factors in this ecosystem. Now, we're not going to go through all of these on this one. Just wanted you to make a chart. So after doing this three times, you should be comfortable with being able to recognize the body and abiotic factors in the ecosystem. I hope this lesson on ecosystems and the things that influence it has helped you understand the difference between biotic and abiotic factors.